Hello my friends, I'm Mark Thomas, the home builder. Welcome to my Home Outdoors channel. Today I'm gonna to review the DeWalt pocket knife. This is a $15 item. It's a partially serrated blade, folding blade. And I'm gonna show you how it compares to a similar Milwaukee one. All right, here it is, a DeWalt pocket knife, $15 for this right here. Pretty awesome. It's the DWHT10272 DeWalt pocket knife. And let's just take a close look here at the packaging of it. I've had this out for probably about a week. DeWalt folding knife. See the Tonto point. Stainless steel blade. It does not say what type of steel it is. I don't know if it's like 420 steel, 440, but it will not rust. It's a nice feature. And thumb stud for easy opening. It actually has dual thumb studs. And what else can I say about it? Slim, lightweight handle. That is true. The handles are not very grippy. I'll just tell you that. But it is a nice lightweight tool. Limited lifetime warranty. Guaranteed tough. Alright, so here is a close-up of the DeWalt tool. As you can see, it has the Tonto Point, stainless steel, black painted blade, partially serrated. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the partially serrated. I'd rather just have it all one. But the, I'm sure there's a lot of people that, when they're cutting rope or twine, they just like to have that deep serration. Uh, the Tonto Point is very popular with samurai swords. It's good for like piercing. If you're opening bags, uh, like right now it's like zero degrees out and I'm opening a lot of bags of salt for like uh, parking lots and sidewalks. And this blade, it just penetrates real nice. It's actually good for opening envelopes too. It's a nice uh, pointed, the angle of the Tonto is nice. Here's the Milwaukee version right here. This is a steeper angle. Let me get further away so you can see a little better. So the DeWalt is a little more a little more pointed. There's a little hole right there. I don't really know. It might be like for opening it. I don't really see the any real use for that. It has a liner lock right here. As you can see. Here's a pocket clip. And the one nice thing about the pocket clip is you can see it is a deep carry. So the, the end right here it has a glass breaker. It's probably not something you'll use a whole lot, but it's just a sharp steel point at the end. And in case you ever need to break some glass for any reason, if you're trapped in a car underwater, you could use this and hit your way out. It would shatter the glass. Pretty cool. Uh, and one thing I'd, I had to go back to the pocket clip. This is a fixed clip where it only works one way so you have the tip down carry see how the tip of the knife is going down and most people including myself prefer to have a blade where it's tip up carry so you'd have the pocket clip up here so when you're pulling this out of your pocket it's easier to deploy or it's faster it's more all right so taking a closer look here you can see it has a flow through design And the centering on it, I don't know if you can see this, but oh, there we go. It's really good. For a $15 knife, the way the blade is centered, it's good. I'm happy with that. And when I have it in the lock position, I don't really feel any play in there. There is a good finger choil right here, if you can see that. So the, the blade handle, or the knife won't slip out of your hand. There is a little bit of traction. You can see up here. Very slight thumb ramp. Not much, but there's a little bit of jumping up there. So you can you can use this and have between the finger choil and the slight bit of jumping and the traction, that's going to hold it pretty tight in your hand so you don't have to worry about your hand sliding forward and you know like cutting yourself on the blade so that does work well 
Okay, and there is one last comment I'd like to make between these two right here. The Milwaukee and the DeWalt, they're both very similar. This is the assisted blade, DeWalt being non-assisted. As you can see, the Milwaukee back here has a lanyard hole. And the handle itself on the Milwaukee is longer and the blade is shorter than the DeWalt. I actually prefer the DeWalt, the balance of the blade and the handle. I think that's a little better. So let's go through and you'll see my final comments on the DeWalt knife. All right, so here's my takeaway from the $15 DeWalt folding knife. All right, for $15, you cannot go wrong. It's a great everyday carry knife. You can use it. People refer to them as their beater knife for scraping, prying, things like that, where you're not gonna wanna use a expensive blade, like I've got this SOG blade right here. This, I would be apprehensive to use for some serious scraping and beating up the steel. It's not worth ruining something that pricey. But for $15, you can use this for a year pretty hard and then replace it. You know, you can sharpen along the way, but. 15 bucks, that is a huge selling point to this. And if I were to suggest any improvements, if like DeWalt or Milwaukee, if you guys happen to be watching this, here's some improvements I would suggest making. Instead of, if you see the pocket clip being tip down carry, I would make it tip up carry like this, the SOG has. I would put a lanyard hole, see that? When you're working with the crew, you're up above, and you have people below, you're, if you happen to be have this open, it falls out of your hand, that's pretty dangerous. It could really seriously hurt somebody. So a lanyard hole would be nice. And I would go with a little better grip on it instead of just being smooth metal. This has a GRN, just something that has a little bit of a grippiness to it. And I can see this being very popular having a Tonto point. I'd maybe, it'd be cool if this takes off, I, and I really hope it does, to see this knife offered at maybe like a clip point. And instead of being like partially serrated, this is, or a drop point, just has, this has like a fairly um, exaggerated belly on it. That's my preference for an everyday carry over the Tonto point, but that's just me, maybe. Uh, DeWalt Milwaukee came out with the Tonto point because it's better for like piercing and cutting into things like that. Um, but down the road, that's what I would suggest. And having an assisted blade, I think, would be huge. And unfortunately, that would drive the price of the knife up. But it would be nice when you're working to be able to just flick it open, assisted. Do you have this knife? Are you considering this knife? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching my friends. Have a great day. All right, some recent comments on my videos. First of all, on the Oxenkopf Universal Forestry X, Ian Jarrett says, a very good ax, the use of which is well and safely demonstrated. Thanks for that comment. And Prep Nomad commenting on the Swedish Torch versus Rocket Stove video, he said, nice comparison. And finally, Jeremy Zoot, he said, um, coming on my Lightkeeper Pro video, he said, thanks, I was able to purchase this and repair two light strands. Great demonstration. All right, thank you, my friends, for commenting, and I hope everyone has a great 2015.